What's going on, everybody? Welcome to <clears throat> this is going to be uh, the Red Bull Untapped Qualifier. Uh, I believe first prize is five thousand. Second prize is three thousand, and third and fourth place are one thousand each. I guess it only pays down to top four. I think there's three rounds, uh, and then a cut to like the top sixteen or whatever. I'm not sure. Either way, it's three a.m. here Eastern Time, so it's very very early. I took like a two or three hour nap before this, and. Uh, <clears throat> that's been good times there's there's a different there's a funny little rule that's going on with this event and um, let me see if I can find it for you uh, deck lists Red Bull Untapped will be allowing players to play any deck they want to match to match and honestly we're kind of excited to see how it turns out we've never seen a magic tournament like this before um the structure was born out of difficulties verifying submitted deck lists on Magic the Gathering Arena. Once we decided to go this route, we found the idea really cool. <clears throat> so basically, I can play a deck in round one, a deck in round two, a deck in round three, a deck in round four. You can basically just pick whatever deck you want. It's kind of like, it's almost like kind of a pre-release in that regard, where you're like, oh, I'll just uh, play all these different decks. <clears throat> and uh, you can switch your deck between rounds, just so it's kind of weird. So the decks we're looking at are is, uh, War of the Spark, Esper Tempo. This is just your traditional Esper Tempo list. Four Teferi, three Elite Guard Mage, two Hostage Taker, you know, Narset, Teferi, Oath, Hero, Despark, Command, and Inugin. Pretty pretty decent. Sultai Command, <clears throat> which is basically the a deck we played on stream recently. Find Finality Command, Nissa, Tamio, uh, Vraska, the Explore Package, Cast Down, Hydroid Crassus, etc. Uh, a Gruul Aggro deck, which we played today. Again, supposed to be pretty good against the field, and Shahar Shanhar won with this deck yesterday, I believe, the 27th. And then we have this Bant Ramp list that I was playing the other day, and I was feeling comfortable with it, but I added two <clears throat> Immortal Sun to the main deck, and another Tristani, and we took out the Arboreal Grazers, so. So, that's that's what we did there. It's now 3.06, so I'd like to think my matches should populate at some point. They all say pending. First round is at 3.05, second is at 4.15, third is at 5.30, so I imagine if I don't make the cutoff in uh, <clears throat> if I don't make the cutoff after the <clears throat> three rounds, then we're going to uh, probably go to bed around 6, 6.30ish. Check-in opens in zero seconds. Okay, going to matches. Still pending. Still pending. So there's a site called uh, faceit.com, and it's where the, uh, the tournament is being run, so... I don't know the ins and outs of how this works, but uh, I'm just following the... Saturday, June 29th at 3, and it's today. Just making sure. <clears throat> and it's it's got to be today because I watched the countdown go to zero while I was sitting here. I am, I am checked in. <clears throat> Everybody at 3.07, people are like, uh, where exactly does the match room button show up? Oh no, is buy from the start. Okay, maybe the matches are up now. Mine I'll say pending. All matches. No, it's gotta be these, right? This is my 305 match. It says pending. Man, you guys are 10 minutes in the past right now. And for those watching on YouTube, I have a 10 minute delay on my Twitch stream, so. Matches still say pending. Anybody else like this?
Rocket 69, Rocket the same it also says i'm no longer checked in after relogging yeah i also don't have any matches yet yeah i'm stuck on that too okay <clears throat> i don't it's weird because like you have until you have about 10 minutes before the uh before the matches like kick you basically it literally says scheduled scheduled at 305 edt and it is now 310 so i'm getting a little Getting a little concerned. Emerson Klein Gaming, that is a huge question. Yikes. Uh, okay, so. <clears throat> Me and my opponent can't get the game to start. My opponent is not answering. Where is call admin button? You can call admin button, no email or delay things. I don't know how to do these things. <clears throat> We aren't getting paired. There are no numbers next to my name in the match tab. Okay, cool. Some people are getting paired. Some people are not, apparently. Which is very strange. Kurt just asked if I wanted some late night eats. <laughs> oh, man. Meanwhile, I just want to make sure I don't miss this because, like, as soon as the match starts, I'm fine. I can do whatever. I'll have a, an hour or whatever. I lost game one, but not not the end of the match. Wow, how do people how are people losing? My matches are all scheduled and pending for today. <clears throat> So, I don't know what to do. They're all pent. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, this is actually a little frustrating.
Does it say what group I'm in? No. Okay. Okay. Number of groups, 54. I don't know what group I'm in, though. So... This is something. This is something. It's also 315, so I feel like I've lost whatever match. Like, this could actually be terrible. I'm actually screenshotting this and uh, making sure I have some sort of... some sort of recourse here <laughs> let's bring this down to the corner and we'll screenshot it with the actual time okay good times Oh, it looks like I'm in group AV. Oh, okay. <coughs> Someone said it's just group AV having this problem. <clears throat> oh, and we're all experiencing the same issue. Okay, so all four people from group AV are having the issue. Okay. All right. All right. That's pretty sweet. We should just play each other randomly, I guess. Wow, that's amazing that the one group I'm in with four players in it happens to be the one <laughs> having issues. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you. T. Ravis, thank you from 10 minutes in the future. Really appreciate the resub, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, all right. So I guess I'm going to keep my eye on the chat here. Why is this this one? This is hilarious. My The one group I'm in. So you guys on YouTube are going to have a hell of a time. You guys can fast forward this for... For however long you need to. Go to your match room for round one, get your players empty your rename and challenge the other. That should be no, that's not that's not working though. Group A V won't load. Yeah, this is this is amazing. So if I go to group AW, I can see all all eight of the players in that group. If I go to AV, which is my group, no results found match the current filter. Yeah. That's 
super weird. Apparently, I'm in those single group. That, uh... boy good times good times My matches are pending. My join matchroom button has gone since I logged out and back in. Now says check in, and the check in starts in zero seconds. Yeah, I mean that's that seems normal though. Uh... Everyone, group AV, can you send me a personal chat message? Yes, I can. Alright, so this is what we're doing here. This is my life. <laughs> my god, man. Oh, man. Thank you. Who cares? Thanks so much, dude. Really appreciate it. But a lot of people's matches aren't loading and stuff, so but that doesn't make sense because that would be an MTG Arena issue. Like they're playing on MTG Arena and they're just challenging the other person, so that doesn't seem like a, a face it issue. All right, let me upload these to Imgur. Oh boy, this is, this is a real to-do. <coughs> Alright, so... I don't even know how to up uh, new new post, I guess? I can go this guy and this guy. All right, so the admin is responding to me. This has been a real adventure, guys. I'm really glad we can go on this journey together. <laughs> oh, boy. So I sent them a screenshot of the images, both the images where my matches are not populating and 
the screenshot of how my group has no players in it. This is like, this is the, the kind of thing, like, I mean, it's funny, but this is like the only, the kind of thing that would only happen to me. Where I'm just like, hey, I'm going to wake up at 3 a.m. for this tournament. You know, I'm super excited about it. And then I'm going to literally be in the one group out of 64 groups that just doesn't get any of their matches paired. T 20 minutes after the round time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, that seems good. So, I mean, they're going to have to start, like, this round super late. Like, 20 minutes late. Uh, and finish before anyone else does. Or, no, 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 finish uh, with not enough time, rather. Or I'm going to cut into the next round. Either way, not ideal uh, outcomes. So... And if this doesn't work, I'm just doing a Modern Horizons draft. <laughs> okay, they're typing again. I can see them typing. I'm waiting for them to just be like, yeah, sorry, man. There's nothing we can do. I'm just going to have to try again next time. First round is against... V okay, actually, I guess they paired it manually. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Play. Uh, traditional constructed. Direct challenge. I don't know his name though. How do I find his name? Chat. Uh, can you ask him in a group chat for his interior account to challenge him? You can share your results here in the chat afterwards. Sorry, we're going to work on a solution with this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good bra. I'm trying. <clears throat> you can challenge me at I gotta go get my name come back here <clears throat> oh, cool. All right. Sweet. Let's go this one. Let's try the Bant Ramp deck. I've been enjoying this thing. All right. Not too bad. Only 15 minutes like late um okay we're doing it I just got told we were playing round one no that's not true <clears throat> waiting for your opponent to challenge you back He's like, with the space? And I'm like, yep. My name has a space in it. I always thought that was weird, but I accept it. <clears throat> I 
think we're good. Maybe. I mean, as soon as they accept the challenge. I wish we lived in a world where people dressed like Kramer, lied like George, danced like Elaine, and joked like Jerry. Yeah, okay. I can combine it. And remember, <clears throat> it's not a lie if you believe it. This is where I just sit here. Actually, I guess I should have the website up so I can... Says it's waiting for you. Oh, okay, cool. Seventeen eighty four. I mean, I copy and pasted it, so it shouldn't actually be. <clears throat> this is why we wait. Give it another minute, I guess. This is the. Uh, the untapped qualifier waiting edition hmm Dan's what's going on why are you awake at this hour this is unbelievable you're going to see that in 10 minutes that's what's funny BGO sheet number 1780. Should we cancel? I think so. Alright, let's try this again. <clears throat> Direct challenge. Okay. 1784. Best of three. Yeah, okay, that's all fine. Okay, so apparently, <clears throat> in the chat, Kyo, Kyo TCG said he was playing Viet Bra, and uh, someone else said they were playing Viet Bra. So apparently, everyone is playing my opponent. Whatever. I mean, I might as well just hit this. There's no harm in sitting on the... This is... This is magic in action, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are witnessing history being made. I don't know what kind of history. Some kind of history. What's going on with these colors? No one else has messaged me, though, so apparently everyone is just playing this, my opponent, and, uh... Oh, man. It's good times. I tried again, same result. Yeah, not matches in. So I will screen capture this. Frank, tell us a joke. <laughs> oh, man. So Frank walks into a bar, right, and tries to play a magic event. And uh, bartender says, hey, joke's on you, buddy. Magic events don't work.
Also, like, the match is just sitting here. Like, this shouldn't have to do with Face It, right? This should just be MTG Arena. Face It has nothing to do with this. I'm just direct challenging a random player. This is this is ridiculous. Uh direct challenge. Oh, it says my name here. That's great. So I can just copy that and then paste it. That's cool. I know a little late to the party, but good luck. Well, <laughs> we'll have to start our round first. Dan's and I are drunkenly watching a karaoke bar right now. That's fantastic. You guys are amazing. You guys are incredible. This is... Oh my god, he mistyped his name. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. One, seven, eight, seven, four. Wow. Like you do, guys. Like you do. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm dead, dude. I'm literal dead. This is actually great, though. This hand is good. Turn one, turn two, turn three. Oh, my God. We're sitting here. He's like, I'm going to Google a solution to this. The solution. Google told me the solution was to properly copy and paste my name. I will keep seven. Oh, we got we got Japanese Narset sleeves. We good, we good. No harm done. Yeah, just as I predicted, the Narset Sleeve deck is playing the Esper deck. So, here's here's cross fingers for good times. Michael B with the sub. Michael B. Also, these are all all my all my appreciation and, and, and responses to you guys is gonna be ten minutes late. So you're gonna be like, wow, Frank just got back to me ten minutes later. I don't actually think I want to play, uh, I don't really want to play into Kaya's, Kaya's Wrath here. So I don't really want to throw another Paradise Druid out here. Man, I'm glad I, I'm glad I asked if their name was spelled correctly. Yep, they took two. Oh, that's not a Kaya's Wrath at all. Now I'm actually glad I kept this idiot. <clears throat> One, two, 
So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is for ten. I mean, now we're just hoping for the no Kai's wrath, right? Could have alternatively prison realmed this guy and attacked for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would have been good too. But we still have a Nissa. We still have enough lands to do things with, so I'm not. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's get rid of Lanowar up here. This guy is a beast. Are they just dead here? I think they might be dead here. We can get rid of one of these guys, untap the land. Oh yeah, we're keeping that for sure. The land fights for us. Yeah, so they block one of the three trees, take three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is twenty damage. When you direct challenge someone, it's best of three, right? Oh, it was best of one. Oh, God. Opponent wins coin flip, so we'll do best of... Uh, now we'll do best of... Now we'll do best of one, I guess? Opponent wins coin flip? Whatever. That's fine. We're making do. That was a quick round one, so I'm not like... Your opponents are not select compatible. Sure. Apo unknown. Apologies, we haven't handled the following error yet. Oh, that's weird. Whatever. Whatever they send, I'll send back. So, tournament match. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll just play until we hit best of three. Opponent uh, is choosing which player will play first, which is great because they lost, so that should be their choice naturally. Oh, but we didn't we didn't get to Mulligan. Oh, actually, oh, I'll just concede this round. Yeah, this makes sense. So apparently, we entered a. Uh, just direct challenge instead of instead of tournament. Can see. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is gonna be. Take out an elf. Take out a jade light ranger. Prison realms are good. Tristani's good. Do you want two negates? Kind of like the Teferi, but we do have a Mortal Sun. I think that's fine, actually. Oh, he should have conceded that game so we could sideboard. That would make total sense. 
Yeah, I'm just like, I'm trying to like think fast because we're like, we, we started so late. What am I going to be doing 10 minutes from now? That's a good question. All right, hold on. We're just going to do it. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to do it one more time. Okay. Direct challenge. Tournament match. Best of three coin flip. Perfect. All right. He's like, sorry. I'm like, no, man. Don't even worry about it. This is like, this is new for everybody, I think. The, uh, the magic, the MTG Arena, like, tournament system, while you're, like, having to manage the MTG Arena client, and also, like, you know, manage the, the chat with your opponent on, like, a different, on, like, a, like, a browser platform, like, it's all, it's... Okay, cool. Well, I'll play first, but then they're just going to concede, so. Cool. All right. Now. Now we're in like a regular game, too. I took an incubation druid out, I took a J layer injury out of two negates. Um, Tristani's a nice little, uh, little rebuilder. I thought it was weird too, he only had four numbers. I looked at my name and I was like, wow, my number has five numbers and theirs only has four? Wow, I must be like, it was like DCI numbers to me where like, some people have like six digit DCI numbers, some people have like 10 digit DCI numbers. I was like, wow, there's a lot of numbers in my, in my DCI now. Wow, I must have been really late. Turns out I was not really late and they forgot a number. times <laughs> looks like we made it I didn't even know you can get like I didn't even know they had those those like anime sleeves. Mm, 
this hand's pretty rough, actually. This has no gas. We can't actually play Jade Light Ranger. We'll ship it. I'll keep this, and I'll bottom that. That was a good hit. Ooh, interesting. <clears throat> call me pathetic, call me what you will. Man, always with the search press counter, huh? I mean, are we afraid of Kaya? Kind of, but what do we do? I mean, if we get to untap, like, I want to draw a breeding pool so we can play Nissa, untap breeding pool, and then keep up negate. That's what I want. Ooh, Basilica Bellhaunt, which is a playable card. Interesting. Ooh, no third land, though. Alright, we're doing it. Living that... Living that Nissa dream. Nissa is not a real magic card, guys. <laughs> I'm like, we did it! And he's like, we are professionals! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I like that these, these Search for S Conta triggers have been uh, contested. Like, they're like, oh, I don't know if I want this. Like, Alright, kept it. Pretty good. Oh, another negate. Okay, well. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna cape, cause cause no gifted sub, uh no gifted sub is enough, buddy. Oh, bottom that. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's... Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, that is not... That is not an Oblivion Ring. However, we have five power on board, and we have two negates. Which seems pretty good. They play a card, we negate it. Guys, I'm feeling good about this. So if we play this and then we play this and they have like spell pierce and land, it's pretty bad for us. But alternatively, if they just have a removal spell, then they're not dead on board. But this also wouldn't kill them, right? Because if they have a removal spell, we hit a land. Yeah, they'd have to go land. Spell Pierce Kaya's Wrath, which I think is a little ambitious.
this doesn't actually even strike me as a, as a as a matchup where they bring in like spell pierce, but. Ooh, two zero, nice. Wow, two zero, and still. Uh, why is he conceding? Oh, you guys are. Oh, you guys are ten minutes ago. This is so awkward. All right, so now what do I do? That's a good question. How do I clip something? Okay, so I'm getting that match win clipped. Hey, bud, over here having a good early morning. Not too bad. At uh, 4 a.m., going into round two. Oh, look at that. Wow, that blurriness made me uh, feel like I was drunk for a second there. Okay, so, um, I might just stop recording here so that you guys, so we can, I'll just, and I'll just clip these together when I'm done so you guys don't have to wait, uh, for the next drama on the YouTube video. So I'm going to do that now. It also lets me refresh and, uh, I can get the screen capture. So, uh, we'll be back in round two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for round two of the Red Bull Untapped qualifier. Looks like there's probably going to be like 10 rounds here, so. Um, I think we're gonna, I think we're just gonna stick with this, or we play this Gruel Aggro deck that we had some good times with. I just I, I worry because like if I choose a different deck, it can make or break our tournament. But like I I like the variety. I think it's fun. Hmm. So it's one of these two. It's either this or this. This or this. This or this. I think these are my go-to's right now. We're gonna go Gruel Aggro. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. We're Gruel Aggroing, guys. This is it. This is it. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep this. This seems fine. Okay, Bilbo 1989 just asked, I know there are supposed to be a cut, but are there any other details available for a tournament structure? Uh, the tournament structure is... Uh, it's round robin. There's groups of four. There are 54 groups of four. Uh, and it's round robin, so you play everyone in your group for the first three rounds. You play the other three players. The best of two, the best two players in each group, uh, gets to advance to the finals, to the, to the final cutoff. I am not making this up as I go.
And then after that, it's single elimination. So there's going to be 100. Theoretically, it's a 256 person event. So the, the 128 qualified players, two from each group of four, uh, will play a single elimination match. And then, then it'll just be the field will be halved every single time. So, isn't it like Fleev Blurdy in the morning? It's pretty close to Fleev Birdie. That is correct. Oh, this guy's dead. Seems good. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So we can go one, two, three, four. We'll have five mana. We can play Domri for three. We'll have three mana left over. We could play Guardian and just make it big, which I think is actually fine. Well, this is lethal. They're missing land drops, so that's nice. They can Kaya's Wrath, and then we get two Phoenixes back, plus a Gruul Spellbreaker to kill them. So, feels good. Thank you. Runa Cape. Oh my god, dude. What is even happening? You've literally gifted 101 subs in this channel. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. Thank you so much, man. Oh my god. Thank you. Well, that was a quick round. Um, Thank you. I feel like Domri was pretty much made for this deck, right? One, two shocks. We'll bring in... Thank uh, you. Not Collision, but the two Domri's. Thank you. I like the Thrashing Brontodon, kind of. Direfleet Daredevil also seems pretty decent Thank here. You. Take out one Ambush for a Direfleet. Take out one. Thank you. Runicap. Thank you. Runicap. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Thank you. I think that's actually fine. Why are these styles not applied? Thank you. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, that's really sad. If this was a if this was a green, I would keep this for sure, but I don't think we can do it. Um yeah, this is better. I don't need a third fire chicken. Land of Elf. Yeah, that's fine. That's not bad. Okay. I accept. Come on, land. Sure. Still land? Nope. Cool spell record. I accept. Like so. I 
I mean, if we're playing the one-for-one -one game, I'm kind of okay with it. D-Spark. Ixalan's Binding is pretty good. Wow, and I whiff. That's amazing. That's incredible. <laughs> yep. And that's where you know the game got out of hand. Got out of hand. I am not going to sit this one out. We need to move quickly. All right. Well, we didn't have four, we didn't have a creature in the top four cards, so we're hoping for one in the in the next card. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Well, that was a misclick. That was pretty bad. Yep, that was pretty bad. That's gonna cost us. Ixalan's Binding. It's not going to cost us. That's why we didn't do that. Okay, never mind. I feel better. Okay, I totally forgot this was under Ixalan's Binding. I feel better because I didn't misplay, but I feel worse because that's pretty bad. So I think we want Vivian Reeds in here. The Thrashing Brontodon should have been brought in, I think. I didn't consider... I considered, like... Yeah, it was prize, whatever. You got a Rodomri, but... Yeah, you can take Rekindling Phoenix. That's a blank anyway. Oh, boy. Yep, it's all downhill from here, guys. We're on the play next game, though. Which is very, very good. Like that's gonna do. We definitely want Vivian Reeds now. Yeah, that's that's enough. <laughs> Rekindling Phoenix, which is literally you don't get to draw a card for the turn, is probably all I need to see. Direfully Daredevil actually feels worse now. Um, Dumber's Ambush is still good because it kills the. Uh... Shocks are just terrible. I'll just bring in three Vivian Reeds. Because they're going to kill enchantments and flyers like Vivian, like uh, Lyra. So, Land War Elf into Legion War Boss into uh, Domri or Rekindling Phoenix or something. That's what we're looking for here. I'm going to keep it even though it's not what we wanted. It's so close to what we wanted. Oh, God. It's still Thorn Lieutenant into Legion War Boss, which I think is great. Seems good. We won't answer all the kills. I'm just gonna play this. I'm not gonna play this guy because this is a great way to recover next turn after they uh Kai's wrath which is uh, He's my bread and butter.
So we have an extra land, creature, and planeswalker on the board. So they actually have three cards, and we have two cards. So we're actually only one card now from them, which is nice. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. I'll protect you. We got it. I like that. I was raised by wolves. Though they might have also just been big dogs. Green. We will meet again. Seems good. There are so many mysteries to uncover. That's fine. Good thoughtfulness before action. Oh, that's less fine. Oh, well, that's too bad. That's really stupid. He's my bread and butter. That's really stupid. Look at our hand, guys. Unbelievable. And these guys are all blanks now. Hone your prowess. Yep. I feel like we're way far behind now. Kai's Wrath is just so good against so many decks. And we didn't really overextend, we only played two creatures into it, which was like Land of War Elf, Legion War Boss. I guess we played Thorn Elemental too, but... Or Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, that's... I'm known for my excellent timing. Actually not a huge fan of this Domri. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Well, I guess we can't draw any more growth chamber guardians, so that's nice. I train everybody. No meditate and prepare. Kai's Wrath. Got another Tefri Time Raveler. Jeez. This deck is so obnoxious. Like this is what I was like I this is what I was afraid of. I mean I've played this deck twice now. This I've just played Esper twice. So I've got time. You know, like this is what I mentioned where I was like I just don't want to play this this, this deck over and over and over again. Tefri returning an enchantment to hand is really weird, and I don't know why it's able to do that. That's really awkward. Huh? Decline. Trust me, I have a plan. 
I mean, I wish this Dahmer gave haste, but it's the other Dahmer that gives haste. That gives riot. So. Vivian read off the top one time. A second Domri. Seems good. But it does not seem good. It seems bad. It's really obnoxious. Like, we can actually go Domri fight with the Gross Chamber Guardian, but it just feels bad. They gain five. Oh, and then we have nothing on board because we only have one mana. So, decline. Like, if we drew Vivian Reed there, it'd be so good. Because we could put the, we kill this, put them to one. Like, it'd be insane. I've got it. Vivian Reed, come on. Let me get a Vivian Reed one time. Cargan Alkite, you'd be so much better. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to die here. Both in real life and in the actual game of Magic the Gathering. So bad. I bow to no one. Well, they go back up to 16. That's cool. Wait, do I say 16? I meant 19. My bad. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Should have just played the Bant deck, I guess. Ooh, that smart stuff. Yeah, alright. <sighs> well, 1-1. One, one. What can you do? I like 4-drop Domri in this list as well, but, I mean... You know... I would probably cut one of these Domries. I don't think they do much. They ramp you to five, but you don't have a lot to ramp to. They deal with creatures, but your guys are not usually that much bigger to kill them. And, like, the other Domri gives haste, and it kind of refills your hand when you have 26 creatures. Like, it's pretty good. Either way, we'll be back with round three. So, What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we are back for round three. I keep saying welcome back, but if you're watching on YouTube... The video's never ended. It's just one long video. So, um, we have Sultai Command. We have Esper Tempo. We have Blue Green Steel. We're not playing that. We're either playing the Bant Ramp, the Gruel Aggro, the Sultai Command, or the Esper Tempo deck. Um, I'm leaning towards Bant Ramp. I just like this deck as a deck. Mike, thank you so much for the bits because it's 5 a.m. and the delay honestly has made this more entertaining bits. Wow. I'm just going to do a delay for, for all time now. Um,. The Sultai Command deck's also good, and it has a similar resiliency to the Bant Ramp deck. I think I just like the Bant Ramp deck, though. I think I'm really enjoying this deck. I think we're just going to stick with the Bant Ramp deck. We're currently waiting for our opponents uh, to go to the bathroom. Uh, this is round three. If we're in the top two of our group, which is comprised of four players, then we get to move on to the single elimination finals, uh, which is like 120 players. You know, and then you play someone. If you win, you go to the top 64 players. If you win, you go to the top 32 players. If you win, you go to the top 16 players. If you win, you go to the top 8 players. And then if you win, you go to the top 4 players. So, we'll see. Okay. All right. Uh, turn match, best of three, coin flip, traditional standard cards, timers on. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. And also, don't forget to check out manatraders.com. You'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Magic online cards or physical paper cards. If you guys are going to Grand Prix, Magic Fests, uh, if you're just gonna if you just want to play in an SCG qualifier, you can definitely use uh, manatraders.com to rent decks, physical paper decks. And you'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code down below. So definitely check those guys out. They have a great service. I will play first. This hand's it's not ideal. 
Five lands, Jade Light. I'll keep it because Kydroid Crassus has things to do. I don't love it, but... You know, what are you going to do? Let's go Breeding Pool. Mortal Sun seems good here. Alright, not bad. We have a turn 3 Jade Light Ranger. I don't love Karasas on 4, but it is the 2-2 two -two Flyer that draws you a card. It's half of a Mole Drifter. Looks like we're playing 3 out of 3 Esper matches, so that's nice. And we hit 2 lands. Seems fine. So we've played against this Esper deck 3 out of 3 times. Uh, all three players that are not me in this pod have played this fucking Esper deck, so... I guess... I guess that's a thing. Um... Yep. This is exactly... I mean, I mentioned this beforehand. This is what I was afraid of. Like, I mean, everyone's like, the metagame is really healthy right now, but I'm like, well... If everyone's just playing this deck, is it? I don't... I don't know. Maybe it is, I guess. I don't think so. Lay that pistol down. Again, Runa K, Paj Gulashi. Philly, you guys are awesome. Yeah, that's actually pretty insane, because we're just going to play uh, Immortal Sun here. Let's say no attacks. So next time we can crash this for four? That seems good. What are their answers to this? Ixalan's Binding in the main deck? Mortify if they have Mort... No, no, Mortify doesn't do it. They can't Teferi it with either Teferi. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, that's cool. Mind and body should be in Keep an open mind. Yep, Narset into Teferi. That's a weird attack. Fury will only lead you astray. And you're experiencing exactly why I hate this deck. But, I mean, what do you get? I mean, like, I, I don't fault anyone for playing it. And, you know, I have, I, I acknowledge that I have the right to play it myself. You know, like, it's not, it's not anybody's fault. Like, I could choose to play this deck. I don't. And I wouldn't want to. This might be a bad idea. All right, well, we're going to do five again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. At least we get rid of the Narset this time so we can draw the cards. But Actually, last turn. I mean, last turn we should have actually killed the Narset. I, I'm going to be honest. I forgot about the Narset's not drawing cards ability. So you guys are going to yell at me in a turn. Interesting. I mean, I assume you have something. I really should have seen that coming. Why wouldn't you tuck this instead? That's very strange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I'm kind of expecting a Kaya's Wrath here. Okay, 
guess the incubation druid and end the turn. Yep, and there it is. To the surprise of no one. Oh, that was EOT. That's fantastic. So for the Logitech mount that I was looking for, because you guys are responding to it, I, I'm, I'm really looking for a... Uh, Okay, this is actually fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine to do this for seven. Let's try this. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm looking for something that can go on my monitor. Um, or it has to be longer than like 25 inches, so. Amazing. So four, we can we can send four at, at you. This is all. This is okay, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if we attack this guy, they just block it. So there's no real point in attacking this guy anywhere. They're just gonna take. They're just gonna block whoever we attack. If we if we put two at this Teferi, they get to keep one, and them keeping this guy is much worse. So we're gonna attack for four. And then I think we play this. Yeah, having was a seven, eight, nine, twenty-two power on board. That's pretty good. And this is, if you guys are wondering, this is why I play modern and standard, or modern and uh, draft, because this is not fun. I'm not having a good time. Uh. Yep. All right, so I'll take out one of these, one of these. Jade Light. Bring in three negates. I think I just want negates. Like, I'm really just, I want to deal with uh, Kaya's rats and planeswalkers. And I think Immortal Sun and Negate are good ways to do that, but. Uh, we have to deal with the, uh... Oh, boy. The problem, like, and I talked about this recently, about how, like, there's just too many Planeswalkers going on, but I don't think there's too many Planeswalkers. I think the Esper decks just have too many good Planeswalkers, and that's why people are just playing Esper, because you get Narsa, you get Teferi, you get Teferi, like... Whereas, like, I'm playing a Bant deck, and I have one Planeswalker in the deck. You know? So it's like... It's not really the same. Like, like the Planeswalker's distribution is fine, except for the fact that Esper got 19, like, game-defining Planeswalkers. Maybe 19's hyperbole, but it's, uh, not by much. Yep. 26 lands. Let's see if we can hit a third land drop, and let's see if it can be a white so we can Shalai. Nope. It cannot be. <laughs> Love it. And if anyone was curious, well, hey, Frank, why don't you play in more tournaments? Well, you see, dear viewer. Cool. I'm having a good time. Yeah, 
and see like the problem like if you don't get an aggressive start against this esper deck like it's just you're you're not gonna out card advantage them you know what i mean Good. Should be good. Uh, graveyard, unfortunately. Land, land, land. Nailed it. God, I never want to put a Hydroid Crest in the graveyard, but here we are. Right on sketch. Hold that thought. Care about that at this juncture. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. I know my responsibility. I've got you. You know what? I'm not done yet. <sighs> Okay, so now they have numerous manas. I want to play this first because I want to see if it resolves. If it resolves, we can get rid of this guy. Um, I actually think that's fine. That Matter of time. I mean, I can see Kaya's Wrath here, but then we have six mana so we can play Hydroid Crisis. Lyra Debringer. It's good. It's good. One, two, just do this for five. Attacks. No blocks, as you can imagine. Yep. The problem with Bant is that it just doesn't have a lot of ways to uh, to properly deal with creatures. Two mana up. That's good. No, they have four mana up. It's really hard to tell how much mana people have up at any given time. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have five after that. Oh, lay that Nissa down, man. Lay that Nissa down. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Oh, Runa Cape. F Ten more gifted subs. Thank you. Totally normal. Totally normal. Totally reasonable. <sighs> Thank you. Jeez. All right, so we're definitely plussing this, but we want to be able to. Thank uh, you. I feel like we want a Shalai here. Yeah, this is rough. Thank you. What? I wanted to respond to this. Oh, come on, dude. I wanted to add two in response. That's really obnoxious. Wow, that's so bad for us. Thank you. Wow. Why did that just resolve immediately? Why didn't you attack with the three? I don't know what's going on right now. Thank you. What a what a damn mess. Wow, that's frustrating. 
Thank you. That's so stupid. Wow, that's really frustrating. And I didn't attack for three because I was like trying to do math. My timer was going down. Like, ugh. Maybe they just don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, lay that hydroid crosses down. Lay that crosses down. This game's closer than it should be. I mean, if we were able to attack... Do you have a pump? Yeah, we're just gonna block. Like, I feel like you're gonna... This is the time where you... Yeah, that's... This is this is where you're gonna Kai's Wrath, which is fine. Because I feel like we're actually... We're very far ahead here. One, two, three, four, five... Dude, Rune Cape, thank you so much, man. <laughs> 141 gifted subs. Not reasonable, but I have no idea. Like, Rune Cape, I don't think I'd seen you in chat since this week. And since this week, you've gifted 140, 141 subs. And I just don't even understand it. Like, it's just... I think that's also three Hydroid Crests, because we had to discard one earlier. Oh, my God. I guess, actually, I mean, it's funny, because it worked out fine, because they Kaya's Wrath... And, you know, we didn't... If we had Shalai out, she would have just died, too. They went to seven here? I'll protect you. Seems good. Nice Nissa, I guess? That's weird. Yep, pretty good. Oh, well, that's very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Of course. Why, why wouldn't they have that? That would makes total sense, actually. I mean, for them not to have that, it means that uh, they wouldn't have to have it all. But, you know. Having Kai's Wrath into Command the Dreadhorde into Dovin's Veto and Cry the Kernarium last game, like, makes total sense. So, no attacks. This is where Frank gets whitey and just complains about the game. Yeah, I mean, this is not a fun game. This is a one-sided game. And, uh... I feel like if you're not playing this Esper deck, you're literally just, uh... You're, you're, you're disadvantaging yourself. And the problem with that is uh, I don't want to sit here and play mirror match after mirror match after mirror match. If I played this Esper deck, four out of four players in my, in my group would be playing the Esper deck, so... <sighs> You're at six life. So, I guess we're doing this for six. Hope you don't have Dovin's Veto, and then we can just... That works, all right. Well, I'm not going to block you, so... Oh, now we're dead. <laughs> we just killed ourselves. Fantastic. Oh, yo, Kaya's route. This is Oath of Kaya's card on the board. All right, so one, two. Got excited about this event. Did not end. Ended up uh, not having my group uh, get matched up. And then having to uh, play against three Esper decks in a row. Magic the Gathering. So that's my experience. And uh, I would not repeat it. I would have been much happier if I streamed during the day today and just drafted and played random standard matches with fun decks. And uh, I mean, this is it. This is my tournament experience, guys. Like, this is not fun for me. Like, losing two rounds in a row and beating one Esper deck out of three, uh, it's just not a good time. I had, I, I, I'm, I'm playing against the same broken Teferis and Narsets and D Sparks and Dovin's Vetoes time after time after time. And it's like, 
it's just not fun so i mean i want to pre- I, I thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome i really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons and let me know your thoughts in the comments on standard um i've heard a couple times this week that um you know standards really healthy right now it's in a really good place i just don't agree with it i think this esper deck is overplayed and i think it's i think all the teferis and narsets and the card advantage and the answers the 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 sheer amount of answers they have are fairly impressive and um i don't know i just i was in a four person pod three of them played the esper deck i did not and I set up four different decks, Bant Ramp, Sultai Command, Grill Aggro, and Esper Tempo. And I didn't even touch the Esper deck. And this isn't even the traditional one. This is the one where you're playing like Hero of Pre Saint 1. Like this is this is the more creature-based one. Like I feel like Magic has been trying to cultivate this environment of like play more creatures, have more interactions, play more, you know, do more attacking. And um, I've tried to do that with Gruel and Bant. And then I get penalized for it. And my opponents end up wiping my board with Cry of the Carnarium and... Uh, uh kaya's wrath over and over and over and um so you know it is what it is what can you do thank you guys for watching really appreciate it maybe maybe i can sneak in with a uh with a one two i i think it's almost it's almost impossible unless unless there's an o three a three o and two one twos right and then if i'm one of the one twos that get in i don't know i don't know how that works there's only four players though and i'm one two there's going to be a three oh and there's probably gonna be a two one so i don't think that's happening but either way thank you guys for watching unfortunately this is not the conclusion i was hoping for but uh i guess that's what you get when you don't sell out and be the esper guy and uh you just want to play decks that you enjoy and have fun with uh the only problem with that is that you end up looking like a sucker when you play against three esper decks and you're still not having fun that's my lesson guys thanks for watching really appreciate it Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.